Okay, we are ready to start week two, which the unit is linear expressions, equations, and inequalities. So this video is going to take you through some review or preparation for practice number one. Okay, so the first example we're going to take a look at is just solving a basic equation. And let's look at the equation, so example number one is negative 8x minus 4 equals negative 7x plus 2. Now remember when solving an equation you always want to perform the inverse operations in order to isolate x. And I like to have, if possible, my x's be positive but it's not always going to work out that way. So, and again keep in mind there are many different ways to solve this equation. So I'm going to start by adding 8x to both sides so that I end up with a positive number of x's and I end up, whoops, that's going to be 1x and this is going to cancel so we get negative 4 equals 1x plus 2. Now you don't have to write the coefficient of 1 because um, if, if it was just x alone the coefficient is understood to be 1 so I'm going to subtract 2 and then I get x equals negative 6. Now you can check yourself on the calculator. You would want to type in each side of the equation, so each expression, and type it in, so negative 8 times negative 6 minus 4, and then type in the right expression, or the right side of the equation, negative 7 times negative 6 plus 2, and we get 44. So we know we are correct. So no need to check unless it says to, but it's always a good idea to uh, check so that you know that you have the right answer. Okay, so now let's change it up with an equation that's a little bit harder. So one with parentheses. So let's take a look at, this is example number two. 3 times negative 5x plus 4 plus 5x minus 1 equals negative 39. So first we're going to want to use the distributive property in order to remove those parentheses and combine like terms on the left side. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15x. 3 times a positive 4 is a positive 12. And then I can copy the rest of the equation down. Combining like terms on the left side, we have the negative 15x and 5x, which is negative 10x. And then 12 minus 1 is 11, and then equals negative 39. Subtract the 11. So they're both the same, so we're essentially adding 39 and 11, so 39, 40, 50. So negative 10x equals 50. Divide by negative 10 and we get x equals negative 5. Okay? Alright, so in our next section we have equations with fractions. Now, let me flip to a new page. The example says which value of x satisfies? So I'm just going to use this first so 3 fifths times x plus 2 thirds equals negative 13 fifths. So when it's multiple choice, and here are your answer choices. I'll put them in a bubble. So it can be um, negative 6, it can be 5, it can be negative 5, and it can be 6. So what I would do is first type you can go ahead and solve, but when it gives you the choices, you can plug them in and more or less do the check. So let's see what that decimal is. So negative 13 divided by 5. That equals negative 2.6. So I really just need to type this left side into the calculator. And if you didn't see my link in the stream for the Chrome extension for the TI-84+, Plus, I would go ahead and download that or get that. 
And all you do is, so remember alpha y equals good shear fraction or numerator over denominator. So three fifths parentheses and pick a number. Okay, so I'm going to pick the positive 6 plus alpha y equals and then 2 thirds. And then we just see if we get um, the negative 2.6. And we don't. So we can do is go up and grab what you just typed in. So I don't have to type it in again. And let's change that 6 to a 5. Uh, 17 over 5, which is not the 13 over 5, so I don't need to check that. So these two are out. Go up and grab it again, and let's change that 5. I'm going to insert a negative 5. So negative 5, whoops. Okay. And we get negative 13 fifths. So the correct answer is negative 5. Okay, so all I did once again is plug all the answers in and do the check. Okay, you could solve with the fractions, but I think it's just easier. And that was example number three. So here's the equation, here's the answers. And all we do, I'll just make note, is plug in answers and do the checks. Okay. So let's take a look at our next session section. Okay, so when you're looking at equations and you're trying to, so I'm just going to give you, so example number four, we're not going to essentially um, solve equations here. I'm going to give you an examples where the equation has one solution. Okay. Then I'm going to give you an example of an equation that has no solution. And then I'm going to give you an example of an equation that has infinitely many solutions. Okay? So an equation like um, 2x equals 6. That's an equation that has one solution because I can actually solve it, and when I do solve it by dividing by 2, we get x equals 3. Okay? There's one solution. Now, infinitely many solutions, it might look like 4 times x minus 2 equals 4x minus 8. Um, and that's because when you distribute, you get 4x minus 8, and it's equivalent. Okay, so if I essentially solve for x by subtracting the x's, they cancel on both sides, and I'm left with negative 8 equals negative 8, which is true. Okay, here if I end up with something like 2 times x plus 1 equals 2x minus 5. And when I distribute, we get the 2x, so it's going to cancel out when we subtract the 2x's, we end up with 1 equals negative 5, and that is not true, okay? That's false. So therefore, there's no number I can plug in here that would make it true. Or here, I can plug in any number for x, and it would make it true, okay? Uh, our next section, we're moving to inequalities. So let's, um, I have room on this sheet. Now we're going to see the greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to symbols. So let's do 6x plus 3 equals 7x plus 10. Okay? Whoops, not equals. So we're so used to equations. So watch out for that because that's a common error. I want to change that to less than. So I'm going to, again, I'd like to get x is positive, but then again, I like my x to be on the left side of the symbol. So I'm going to subtract 7x, and I end up with negative x plus 3 is less than 10. So then subtract 3, we get negative x is less than 7. Now I have to have a positive x, so there is a 1 there, so divide by the negative 1, 
And remember, and only when you divide by a negative. Okay, we'll star that. Only when you divide by negative do you need to reverse the symbol. So it becomes x greater than negative 7. Okay? All right, though that's the only rule you need to remember for inequalities. So something a little bit harder. Is in the next section. So let's take a look at, so this is example number six. Now uh, let's do negative five minus three times five x minus four greater than or equal to two x plus six minus 10. All right, so just adding the distributive property. So let's remove parentheses. So negative five minus 15 x plus 12 greater than or equal to 2x, well I'm not going to copy it down, I'm going to combine like terms, minus 4. Now the only like terms here are the constants, so let's copy down the term negative 15x and 12 minus 5 is 7. So again, I said I like my x's on this side, so I'm going to subtract 2x and I get negative 17x plus 7 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Okay, subtract the 7, negative 17x greater than or equal to negative 11, so then divide by negative 17, and I have to reverse the symbol, and then I'm just going to really, uh, leave it um, 17, or 11 17 negative over negative is positive. So instead of, again, the greater than or equal to, it's now less than or equal to. All right, so we have three more sections. So in example number seven, the question says, if we look at the inequality five less than five minus six x. So let's solve that first. Uh, I'm actually gonna add the six x to move it over like I said. And I have six x uh, plus 5 is less than 5. So subtract 5. We have 6x is less than 0. Divide by 6 and x, 0 divided by 6 is 0. And then it asks, of the numbers, which are solutions? And the numbers are 2, 6, and 0. Well, it has to be less than, so 2 and 6 are out, so 0 um, is not a solution, actually. So, none. None are solutions. If it said less than or equal to, then 0 would be. But since it said less than, there are no solutions. All right, last two sections. Number 8. All right, let's look at the inequality 3x plus 6 less than or equal to negative 16. So let's solve it. Subtract 6. 3x is less than or equal to, now negative 16 minus 6 is a negative 22. Divide by 3, and x is less than or equal to. Well, here it's good to take a look at the decimal. So negative 22 divided by 3 is negative 7. 0.33 repeating. Now, the question says from here, determine the largest integer value of x for our solution. Well, I'm looking for all those numbers less than negative 7.333. So if you think of a number line, I'll start at negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6. Now negative 7.3333. So negative 7 is here and that's about there. Okay. So the numbers that are less than that, okay. Now integer means it has to be a positive or negative whole number. 
So I, that's why I can't use the negative 7.333 because it's not a whole number. So if I just look at my scale here, the largest number then, less than is this way, would be the negative 8. So x equals negative 8. All right, our last section. Oh, literal equations, fun, fun. So we'll do a couple of these. So example number nine, we have, we're gonna solve for f. And the equation is nf equals g plus three m cubed. So if I wanna get f by itself, I look at what operations being performed on f and then I perform the inverse. So right now f is being multiplied by n, so I'd want to divide by n. And my final answer would be f equals this fraction. So g plus 3m cubed over n. Okay, and our last one. Let's scroll here to another problem. We're going to solve for b, and the equation is 5r plus b equals 2d minus f. So if I'm going to solve for b, again, right now, we're adding 5r, so I need to subtract 5r. So now I end up with B equals. Now, you can't combine an R term with an F term or a D term, so you simply just write it in order. So 2D minus F minus 5R in order from left to right. Okay? And that finishes our notes for practice number one. Have a good day.